<laughs> good morning and it's a very dark crack from the canal um, oh, yeah I've been in the sea over the weekend but the canal definitely feels colder at this time it's just a couple of degrees colder I think usually about six anyway just wanted to really this morning I was looking at the horrendous suicide things that happened over the last week in Scotland and we know the clocks change next week and um, it's going to be darker. <laughs> it's going into winter. It's very different from the March lockdowns or, or shutdowns or whatever you want to call it. We're, we're all being very, very much um, restricted in what we can do and who we can see. And I think we really, really have to look out for the vulnerable. And as somebody, I'm not vulnerable and this is not a poor me by any stretch of the imagination, but for sure, most of this year I've spent in some kind of grief with my mum and my aunt and it makes you a lot more sensitive to other people's behaviours and words and I've heard over the weekend you know you're not you're not in this bubble you know you're not allowed in this house not just to me but to friends um you know you're not welcome here you shouldn't be here you know that's really really hurtful and horrible and the bubble situation which I get I think you need to be very careful that the bubble's not, again, just another form of division and, you know, my family matters but nobody else does. We all have to be really aware of the people, especially that are living on their own or that have young children and are really struggling. Just reach out. We have to, at this stage, really, really pull together and look after each other because everything that's coming from the media is just more about fear. And when you are in fear, you can only think about yourself. You think you're separate from everything else. So you will not be worried about how other people are because you're far too busy worrying about yourself. And you know, that's a natural thing when you're in fear, it's a survival state. But what we have to do is think, right, okay, with the amount of people that are, want to throw themselves off bridges and stuff, we, we have to, we know we can impact suicide. We've known that from studies, by being aware, by understanding, by reaching out. Um, so we all have to take that responsibility on, particularly going into um, a darker winter where it's much, much harder. Christmas as well and New Year, we know these times. So we have to really make sure that you're looking after your neighbours, your family and your friends. So today, send somebody a message, phone, and just keep an eye on those that are on their own because... We're, we've got a long way to go, it seems, before we get through all this nonsense. And it will pass. Um, and we'll be remembered for how we behaved in this crisis and how we and, and what we said and what we did. One of my friends said to me, do you think all your relationships will survive the pandemic? When people have been really mean and nasty and selfish. Um, and I know personally the people that reached out to me when my, after my mum died and hugged me and held me, they're the ones I'll remember. Um, not the ones that ran across the other side of the road because um, they didn't want to see you or touch you. And that's just the harsh reality of life. <laughs> Everything, all the choices that we're making, just be kind about it. You can say to somebody, look, I'm really scared, but I'm here for you. You know, you don't have to compromise your own safety if you're scared. Um, you can still think about the collective and the community um, because their life might depend on it. Anyway, not very cheery crack from the canal today, so let's do a little release. Ah, so just welcome all the belief that we are separate that we're separate from other humans, separate from nature, and any belief that we're in danger, welcome all of that and just let it go. And welcome any feeling of sadness, struggle, overwhelm, welcome it all in and just let it go. And welcome any hurt, disappointment in others. Welcome all of that, any judgment, any feeling that it's personal. Welcome it all and just let it go. And just say to yourself, I'm releasing all stress, 
all negative energy that no longer serves me. I allow myself to be at peace. I allow myself to be kind and compassionate. And have a great day, ciao.